This is the Dodge Ram TRX, a very high performance version of the Dodge Ram coming for the 2021 model year, boasting a 6.2 litre V8 with about 703 horsepower and over 650 pound feet of torque. The name I believe is to overthrow the Ford Ranger Raptor, as the TRX of the name could be denoted as the T-Rex, which is much more powerful and a much more stronger animal than the Velociraptor. There's not much information about this car other than the width of the tyres, the power output, not even the curb weight has been released yet, but we know that the gross weight is £7,800 fully loaded, so I've decided to make this under 3000 kilos for this configuration. So the Ram is a big heavy truck, but it should be badass and really capable off-road, as I'm going to show you in our scramble in just a moment. So here we are in the TRX and you can see it accelerates nice and gently, goes around this corner, knocking out a lot of the obstacles in the way, just like a true pickup truck, able to overcome any obstacle and you can see this 6.2 litre V8 really pushing it. This of course is derived from the Dodge uh, Challenger Hellcat, even was used in the Jeep uh, tr um, Trackhawk as well. You can see the uphill descent due to the amount of body weight this is carrying is not breaching 126 miles an hour. Slowing down the corner, going a steady 60 miles an hour. This does really handle well and accelerate exceptionally on this trail part. So we've got the off-road part. Let's see how it does in this. Ooh, handles extremely well. Ooh, up on two wheels, really leaning over. The body roll is quite immense in this thing, getting some air. But it, overall, this was one of the most fun um, cars to take around this section. One of the quickest too, however it's let down by the um, straight line speed I feel. Knocking over the fence in the way, the time's not flagged despite hitting the tail a little bit. It takes quite a while to get up to 100 due to the aero. And there we go, so we've got just over 1 minute and 21 seconds. And uh, fortunately, that puts us uh, at the bottom of our leaderboards. Of course, this Rally Time leaderboards is a crossover from Season 1 of Unique Tuning. I'll put a link to that in the description so you can watch any of the other cars listed. There are some from this season as well. Anyway, time to take it on this top speed test. Let's check out its quarter mile. And finally the track test. So here we go in the Dodge Ram TRX, and you can see it accelerating nicely. Nice short gear ratios first and second to really get it up to speed. However, it's going to struggle to maintain this speed, I reckon, because of the body roll. And it's a massive vehicle indeed, trying to be as careful as we can on this practice lap. And um, all really slowing down here. I didn't really trail break very effectively. The suspension is that of a rally spec, so we'd expect it to be pretty good at the uh, curves. I'm seeing on the back straight, it's pretty slow accelerating after 100 miles an hour. Ooh. 
maintaining a decent amount of speed. I'm quite impressed with how such a big vehicle can keep its composure in this sort of chicane. But we're on to the main straight. Oh, shifting a little bit late. That doesn't matter. Correct all the fire, all them things. As I've, I'll show in the um, actual lap. We've got a one minute and eight just under that. So here's the actual lap. And you can see the best was undercut by nearly five seconds. Just dynamically, you can see the difference. It's night and day. I'm trying to really keep it in line here, using as much revs as I dare. This isn't the highest revving engine in the world. But it can still hit a very high top speed, 178 miles an hour. It may take ages to get there. However, you don't need. This isn't a track about top speed or so much acceleration other than the straights. You just need to maintain a good average speed for the corners. I'm demonstrating here how it's nearly as fast as some of the sports cars I've seen. It's wallowing quite a bit though, it's very hard to manage but nice and easy through here. Now no problems on the straights, this is what this ram was designed to do. Just be an absolute bruiser. So in the fifth, going across the line at 136 at 1 minute and 3 and a quarter. So it puts us in 20th place and my father's Ford Capri, uh, it's quite a bit faster than that. There it is an A-class car with much more power, but nothing in or around its position can compare to its power, though these cars are much, much lighter and much more dynamically and um, acceleration-wise way more effective and way more um, usable on our track here and you can see it's kind of overshadowed by the GMC Cyclone which of course it in itself is a pickup it's nearly three seconds faster not to mention the Lamborghini LM002 with its 7.2 litre powerboat uh, V12 or should I say V8 in my configuration is nearly four to five seconds quicker but anyway thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and peace